I can remember being a professional bike rider and riding in the mountains of the High Alps during the Tour de France. In that terrain, weight was, still is I suppose, absolutely everything. But back then, there had to be a compromise made between stiffness or weight. Now, however, it's possible to have a frame stiff enough for the strongest of sprinters, but you'll still have to add lead to it to bring it up to the legal weight limit. The SLR 9.8 is very much proof of that. Using the very latest finite element analysis or FEA computer modeling tools, we were able to test many different combinations of fiber types, quantities, fiber directions, resins, and virtual tube shapes together to come up with the SLR frame design. It's one of the most advanced climbing frames in the world today. The main load path in any bicycle runs from the head tube down the down tube through the bottom bracket and then through the right hand chain stay. So these were absolutely critical, no compromise areas of the SLR design. The oversized nature of the down tube keeps the steering sharp. The oversized bottom bracket area handles the pedaling forces and the rear chain stay uses our own box section design to transfer pedaling power cleanly to the rear wheel without even a hint of flex. As well as low weight and uncompromised stiffness, there was another element to the design brief too. We wanted this bike to be practical enough to be used for pro-level racing by any weight of rider, so no get-out rider weight limit clause for us. The requirement for practicality meant that the frame has retained features such as internally routed cables using our own carbon tube technology, no issues changing brake cables. For the gears, there is a generous access port under the bottom bracket, making gear cable maintenance easy too. Despite these practical additions and robust design, the SLR frame still comes in at sub 900 grams. And the 9.8 fully built up like this comes in a full pound and a half under the UCI legal weight limit. Our high tech, no gimmick, performance first approach to this project has resulted in a world-class bike for the serious sport e rider or with the addition of little ballast to make it legal, machine fit to climb or descend the biggest mountains in the Tour de France.